In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Lego brick of any size just by changing the length, height, or width of your user parameters. Then Fusion will automatically calculate how many studs and all the different parts of the Lego brick and make a new one that's custom to your dimensions. So we can change it to be big or small. We can also change the height. Anything goes to make custom Lego bricks. But first, we need to make some user parameters. Let's go to Modify change parameters. In the change parameters screen, we'll click plus, and the first one will be length. Make sure we click no units, and our expression will be four. We'll press okay. Next, we'll do height. And make sure you click no units, and our expression will be three. And then next, we'll need width. Again, click no units, and our expression will be two. Next, we'll add wall, and our expression will be 1.2. That's all we need. Press OK. Let's make a new component. We'll call this universal brick. Now we can create a sketch on the ground plane. Let's get a center rectangle. So we will go rectangle, center rectangle. Click on the center rectangle part. The dimension on the left will be width times 8 minus 0.2. And then the dimension this way will be length times 8 minus 0.2. The reason we take the minus 0.2 is because we need to have space in between the bricks so they fit together. Now we're ready to extrude. We press E and we say height times 2.3. And then now we have our Lego brick basically roughed out. Next, we need to create a sketch on the top for the studs. We'll draw a circle, and this circle will be 4.8. Now, it's important when we dimension this that we always dimension from this top corner. So we'll press D, and we'll go from here to here, and this will be 3.9. And then from here to here, this will also be 3.9. We can press E to extrude, and we'll go up 1.8. And then it's a good idea at this point to add a fillet. It's optional, but we'll add a fillet right here. And we'll call that fillet will be 0.5. Now we're ready to create a rectangular pattern. And instead of making a pattern of sketches, we're gonna make a pattern of features. What features? We'll do this extrusion and that fillet. Let's pick our directions. It'll be this direction and that direction. Our quantity will be length and our distance will be eight. Our distance here will be eight, and our quantity will be width. Now we have these nubs on top of there, so our Lego can snap into the other ones. Next, we'll shell out the bottom, and we'll shell it out wall. Technically, this top surface is a little thinner, but for our purposes, this will work great. Now we'll create a sketch on the bottom, and this is to make the circles that help the studs of the Lego fit into the other ones. So we'll press C, then make a circle, 4.8. Then we'll press C and make sure you click this center dot and we'll drag out 6.514. Now we need to dimension this. So I'll click from here to here. This one will be 7.9. Then we will dimension from here. And this one will also be 7.9. We can't center from the origin because this will change based on the size of our rectangle. So now we press E, click this one right here, and we're going to extrude, and the distance will be two object. We'll click this object and we'll say OK. Now this is an optional step, but we can add a fillet to right here and here. And we'll make our fillet 0.2. Next, we create a rectangular pattern to have these circles be on the bottom. So we click rectangular pattern. Once again, it will be features. Make sure you click the extrude and the fillet. Then our directions will be this direction and that direction. We'll go over. Our distance for both of them will be eight millimeters. The quantity will be length minus one. And the quantity here will be with minus one. So now we have those little guys right there. So they'll help snap all the bricks together. Next, we need to make little 
nubs on here that help hold the pieces together. So we'll create a sketch. We need a center rectangle. So we'll go rectangle, center rectangle. I'll draw my center rectangle here. I can dimension it. This way will be 0.6 and then zoom in. This way will be 0.2. And then I want to dimension the center of the rectangle to the top left and that will be 3.9. And then I want to dimension the top line of the rectangle to this dot, and that will be wall. Then we're ready to extrude. So we press E, grab this piece, and our distance will be two object inside there. Okay, now we're gonna create a rectangular pattern. We're gonna click features, and we want this extrusion, and our directions will be this way and this way, and then we'll tug to know which one it is. This one will be a distance of eight and the quantity will be length. Now we need these nubs on the other side. So we'll make a mirror, click on create, then mirror. And we want features and we have to get both features. Then for our mirror plane, we'll click the center plane. Now they're mirrored across. Now we need the nubs on the short side. So we'll create one more sketch. We'll click on the top. We'll get a center point rectangle. We'll draw right here. Then we can dimension this. This one will be 0.2. And then this one will be 0.6. We can dimension the center of the rectangle to the top, 3.9. Then we can dimension the top line of the rectangle and the corner, and that will be wall. Now we're ready to extrude. Press E, click this, and of course, we are going to go to an object. It will be this interior object and we press OK. Now we need to make a rectangular pattern and a mirror. So we'll click rectangular pattern, features, this feature. Then we'll get our directions. It will be this direction and that direction. Our spacing will be eight. That's the wrong direction. So leave that one as zero. It's always a good idea to kind of pull so then you can see which one it is. It's going to be this one, eight and our quantity will be width. Then we say, okay. Now we can make our mirror, click on create. And then the features, we want this feature and this feature. What is our mirror plane? Our mirror plane will be the center. And we'll say, okay. So now we have our complete Lego brick that's 100% parametric and it will change in size. It's always a good idea to test this. So let's find out. Let's go modify, change parameters. I'll move this over to the side here. Let's try length of five. Looks like everything updated fine. Let's try a width of four. There we go. See, everything updates fine. We have extra studs in the middle. Let's try a height of two. There we go. It shrinks in height. If we go a height of one, plate Legos have a thicker wall. So you can go ahead and just leave it like this, but there's a limit to parametrics. What you can do is these last extrusions and patterns. You can just press OK, and then I can click here, and I can right-click Suppress Features. And then notice now those little nubs aren't there. I can always bring these back. And then I go Modify Parameters. And then for the wall, I can type in an appropriate value. It's between 1.4 and 1.5 on the small one plate bricks or the one by one bricks. So now I have this thicker wall. Let's see another limitation of this model. If I go modify parameters and I make the length one and the width one, you'll notice that I have this ring here. That just means I have to also suppress these two features. So I right click suppress features and then I have a perfect one by one and it has that thicker wall thickness and I can go modify change parameters, I can make the height be three again, okay. Or if I want a custom brick that's not sold, I can change parameters and I can make my height something like 17 and say, okay. So now I have a super custom Lego brick. And then what if I wanna go make wide ones again? So I go modify, change parameters, and I can change this length to something like five and the width to something like two. And now I need to change the wall back to 1.2 because whenever it's not one by one, it's 1.2. 
And then I click all of these features and I unsuppress. And look at that, I have a custom brick that has all those features in there. Probably for something tall like this, we would want to then go ahead and add some support ribs in between those. But for this, you probably aren't making too many super tall ones, but that would be my recommendation. Hopefully you can make many custom Lego bricks of your choosing. You can make them into patterns, stamp this into other objects, and have lots of fun. Happy 3D modeling and building block making.